Hey guys! Now, I promised you guys a while ago that I would do this, so I am going to talk about all the winners of the MTV Movie Awards. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care about them, but I said I would uh, talk about them because when I made my video, I didn't. My predictions video, it wasn't really predictions, I just said what I thought should win. And I'm just going to briefly discuss each category and what did win. So, yeah. And also, Game of Thrones premiered that night. Of course I would watch Game of Thrones over the frickin' MTV Movie Awards. But I'm still going to talk about my reactions because I promised I'd do it. So, yeah. Okay. For best musical moment, the winner is Jennifer Lawrence for Mockingjay Part 1. I have to say, I'm not too... I mean, I don't mind this choice. I mean, I mean, I really love Jennifer Lawrence, and I love Mockingjay Part 1, and I, she, I thought she was really good, but then again, the, the uh, Miles Teller for Whiplash should have won. Like, seriously. I mean, the other ones were Chris Pratt for Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't remember a musical moment, and then Seth Rogen and Zac Efron for Neighbors. I don't remember that one. So I think it was just singing when they were high or something. And then I haven't even seen the Skeleton Twins. So, yeah. I mean, I guess I'm, it's a, I'm okay with Jennifer Lawrence winning, even though Miles Teller for Whiplash deserved. If I had, it had deserved it. If I had not seen Whiplash, I would be completely happy with this choice. But since I have seen Whiplash, and it's my favorite movie of 2014, and one of my favorite movies of all time, yeah. Okay. Best on-screen transformation. Let's see. The winner was Elizabeth Banks for Mockingjay Part 1. Um, yeah. I mean, I love, I already said I love Mockingjay Part 1, but really, Eddie Redmayne should have won for The Theory of Everything. I mean, obviously, but then again, these are teenagers, and not every, and most teenagers don't go see all those Oscar-worthy movies. They just see, like, the big... You know, they just see, like, comic book, many just see, like, comic book movies and, uh, you know, young adult adaptations and horror movies, so real, and comedies, like, that's about it. I'm just not, I'm not saying all, but, like, in general, a lot more see that, you know? So, yeah. Eddie Redmayne definitely should have won, but then again, he did win the Oscar, so it is, you know, whatever. Okay, for best villain, it, it, Meryl Streep for Into the Woods. Eh, I mean, I still haven't seen Into the Woods. I might just have to rent it on Redbox one night and watch it, but really? Over Rosamund Pike for Gone Girl and J.K. Simmons for Whiplash? Heck, for Peter Dinklage for X-Men Days of Future Past. Like, seriously? Nothing against Meryl Streep, but... Seriously, obviously none of these kids saw Whiplash or Gone Girl. But I would have at least expected them to be a lot of them to have seen X Men: Days of Future Past. Like I don't get why they didn't choose that. But whatever. For what the fuck? For WTF moment, it's Rose Byrne and <laughs> Seth Rogen for Neighbors. Okay, I have to say. I wanted Miles Teller for Whiplash to win, but then again, I didn't remember what the WTF moment would have been. So I guess the winner I'm satisfied with Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne, because that, was, that scene they're talking about was, whoa, that was weird, <laughs> unexpected, and ugh. So yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. For best fight, <laughs> Dylan O'Brien versus Will Poulter for the Maze Runner. Are you kidding me? Over Captain America the Winter Soldier, or even... Heck, even Edward Norton versus Michael Keaton for Birdman? Like, are you seriously? Serious? Uh, Captain America definitely should have won for best fight. I would hardly call that a fight in Maze Runner. Just, ugh. Just, the, um, I just, I don't understand that. Okay, for best, uh, shirtless performance, um, winner Zac Efron for Neighbors. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with that, though I still would have thought picked uh, Chris Pratt because he was a chubby guy. I have not seen Parks and Rec, but I know he was chubby in that show, and now, and then he really transformed for it, and he should have won, but but then again, Zac Efron won over Ansel Elgort, ew, for Fault in Our Stars, and Channing Tatum for Foxcatcher, and 
Kate Upton for the other woman. So, yeah. I mean, if anybody had to be beat Chris Pratt, I'm glad it was Zac Efron. For best hero, ugh, Dylan O'Brien for The Maze Runner, like, over Chris Pratt for Guardians of the Galaxy, or, or Martin Freeman for Hobbit, or heck, even Jennifer Lawrence for Mockingjay Part 1, really? Though I'm really glad Shailene Woodley did not win for that. I love Shailene Woodley as an actress, but, I'm, but she was not good in Insurgent at all. And she looked silly whenever she was doing all those action scenes. Okay. For best female performance, the winner is Shailene Woodley, The Fault in Our Stars. Yeah, I have no problems with this movie. I mean, this winner. So, yeah. I don't have much to say about that. This one, I, like, I'm, okay, best scared as shit performance, Jennifer Lopez for The Boy Next Door, are you freaking kidding me, over Roseman Pike in Gone Girl, like, are you serious, like, like, I would have rather seen Dylan O'Brien for Maze Runner win than freaking Jennifer Lopez for Boy Next Door, are you kidding me, that's the stupidest thing, when, that's the worst win of the night, for sure. Stupid. Okay, for best comedic performance, we got Channing Tatum for 22 Jump Street. Yeah. I mean, if and if Rose Byrne had won, I would have been fine. If Chris Pratt had won, I would have been fine. I, I, and I haven't seen Wedding Ringer, and I still haven't seen Top 5. And I do want to see Top 5. I'll probably just rent it on Redbox one night. Or if they put it on Netflix, I'll watch it. So, yeah. For best on-screen duo, winners Zac Efron and Dave Franco and Neighbors. Eh. I mean, honestly, I was fine with all the other categories. All the though, I have to say, Bradley Cooper and Vin Diesel should have won for Guardians of the Galaxy. But then again, I didn't mind this. Didn't mind Zac Efron and Dave Franco winning for this. Uh, that's fine. For Best Kiss, Ansel Elgore and Shailene Lilly for The Fault in Our Stars. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with this. I mean, I love, I really love The Fault in Our Stars, so I'm fine with that. Uh, for Best Male Performance, Bradley Cooper for American Sniper. Eh. Miles Teller should have won, because honestly, a lot of people are praising Bradley Cooper for his performance in American Sniper. It was good, but I didn't think it was that great. I liked, I liked his performance better in Silver Linings Playbook and Guardians of the Galaxy, but that's just me. But I, I still love Bradley Cooper, though. I just, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> for Movie of the Year, now, I'll just read you all the choices. American Sniper... Mockingjay Part 1, Guardians of the Galaxy, Fault in Our Stars, Gone Girl, Boyhood, Whiplash, and Selma, and the winner of that is The Fault in Our Stars. Now, I really love The Fault in Our Stars, but Movie of the Year? Um, over any of those choices? Uh, it should have been Whiplash. Or even Boyhood, I would, I mean, I love Boyhood, even though I don't think it's one of the best movies of 2014, it was an honorable mention for me. But still, I love, ugh, I love Fall in Our Stars, but it was certainly not the best movie of the year. It might have been in my personal favorite, like my top ten, but it, and I still wouldn't say it's the best movie of the year, but whatever. And then, I'm just going to discuss these, uh, MTV Trailblazer Award winner, Shailene Woodley, cool, I guess, MTV Generation Award winner, Robert Downey Jr., okay. MTV Comic Comedic Genius Award winner Kevin Hart. I guess that's okay. I mean, yeah. So those are all the winners. Most of them I'm just like indifferent about. Some of them I'm okay with or happy with. And then the best scared shit performance for Boy Next Door. That's the worst win of the night. Honestly, the only thing Bo uh, the Boy Next Door should be winning is a Razzie Award. That's it. So yeah. Um, yeah. I don't have anything else to say. All I'm going to do, remember my Game of Thrones live stream is tonight, 7 p.m. Standard Time. So I don't know what time it is in other time zones, but 7 p.m. for me here in Texas. So, yeah. And, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.